Hey team, it is Jackie. So um, I know that we have a bunch of new coaches on our team. And as you guys are um, learning and growing and listening to my instructions and my training about uh, being in your own pictures and how to make pictures and not just Google pictures every single day and that's everything that you put on your timeline and certainly learning not to share from another coach, Janelle Summers, uh, Mindy Wender, Tara Carr, um, <clears throat> Chelsea Pearson, as great as we love their posts, we can learn from them and then make our own. So if you see a coach who has an awesome post, maybe it's a quote that you really like, uh, maybe they are, they're talking whatever message they're giving across you really like, write it down and think about how it makes you feel and then find a picture of yourself or take a picture um, and or as if you're just getting started and you're so not comfortable with a picture of you first then find a picture of an imagery or of nature or something that you took or something and then put a quote over that picture. So 90% of my business or 95%, I do everything on my phone. So I'm doing a lot of images and stuff on my phone. Um, an app that I use is a big app that I really, really love is called Fonto. Now I have an iPhone, might be different for you if you have a Droid or I don't even know, Samsung or something else. Um, but Fonto is P-H-O-N-T-O -O, and I use Photo Fi. So P-H-O-T-O-F-Y. That's on my phone. But if you notice whenever, if you are a new coach and I'm welcoming you publicly on Facebook to our team, um, if you know every Thursday, I'm giving a shout out to either the top coaches of that week um, or at the end of the month, who hit Success Club, who didn't, if you rank advanced or whatever, I make different images. And I do use um, this, um, I'm gonna show you this website. I've done this before, so some of you have been coaching, you know it. Um, might be just a refresher. For newer coaches, listen up. Um, so I use this website whether I'm just putting out an image, uh, maybe I'm just giving inspiration for the day. Um, I'm just adding value. It's not an invite to a challenge group. Um, this is just my daily adding content to make people want to follow me, to add advice, um, to give value to people, to be inspirational, to inspire and to motivate, you have to give people things in order for them to want to follow you and to build trust with you. Everything you post cannot be Beachbody. Everything you post cannot be Shakeology. Everything you post cannot just be an invite to join your challenge group. So you do, yes, share about your workouts, share why you like them. Share about why you drink Shakeology. Don't just take a picture of it. Um, if you are running a challenge group, you don't have to give a picture of your challenger. You could just say, I'm so excited. You know, this is the first week of our challenge and people are finding energy. This is five days in a row that they've worked out and they haven't done that in months. But that's why we love accountability groups. I have a new one coming up soon if you want more information. Or, you know, so just a little bit of a call to action at the end of that kind of a post. But whatever, if you're making an image. So I'm going to show you how I use a couple different layouts depending on what image I'm wanting to make. So I'm hoping that this is going to share my screen with you guys. So just hold on one second. Okay. So you should be looking at canva.com. Um, so this is what I do on my computer, and um, so let me just go through these images. Now, sometimes I use this presentation layout. Um, if you're making a, ba a brand new Facebook cover, so again, we've talked about your profile picture just needs to be you, a nice headshot, smiling, welcoming, so when people come to your page, they know that it's you, and they're like, oh, she looks sweet and nice, let me see. Um, especially when you're sending out your friend requests, right? Um, so that's in your profile picture. But a lot of you guys are like, yeah, but I have kids and a husband and I want to share that. 
Absolutely, because you want people to connect with you who are moms, who are married, or whatever it is that is you. So that's where you can put all of that in your cover photo. So you don't even have to figure out the dimensions of that. You could just come to Canva and click on cover photo, and we'll do this one to get started. So let's, it's gonna open up, and my computer is super slow, so please bear with me. Um, okay, so this is your cover photo layout, right? Now, Canva gives you options to use these free backgrounds. 90% of the time, I don't bother with them. There's some, anything that doesn't say free, if I wanted to use this one, I would be charged for it. So I think it's a dollar, I'm not sure. So unless you absolutely love it, or it fits exactly what you need to say, I don't use it. So let's just say, I'm gonna show you how to create a plain background. So if you come to background, boom, you could change the colors. So you could change it to a darker purple, if you want that your background or whatever. I really love this gray with these lines, but again, if you wanted it pink, if you wanted it blue, if you wanted it teal, or whatever. So let's just leave it at this one. Okay, now you can come to uploads, and this is where you are gonna upload pictures. So let's just say I wanted to upload pictures about who I am. So maybe I want to say, um, fitness here and let me see if I have one with my family or see some of you guys are in here because I've made your pictures um I know most of it's always for fitness all right let's just use this one of Ryan so I could say and um Whatever, I'm just gonna pick this one. So let's say I wanna crop this out. I don't want that whole extra ceiling tile in there. Again, my computer is super slow. Yours will come up faster. Here's your crop. So I want to crop out everything from here. Boom. Now I wanna make them all kind of conclusive or the same. So just like on Instagram or on your phone and stuff, you can change the brightness and you can change the filter. So I love to use. I love to use the festive one, so we're going to leave it at festive, and you can change the intensity of it. So let's do, boom, filter, festive, change the brightness and clarity just a tad. Um, now, um, uh, this obviously doesn't look super great, and it doesn't matter. These are, it doesn't really matter. It's you. You could, you could go to Google, which we'll do in a minute, and pick a different background, but let me just, so, I can do these three. Let me just minimize, and now remember, you don't want to cover, which I know they just changed the layout, but uh, before, this was your Facebook profile picture, so you don't want it to cover. So I'm actually gonna make this a tad smaller. All right, so now I come up to text. You have a couple options. You can use one of these layouts. Again, I always use the ones that say free, um, and you can change the color and the font even though it's set like that. Or you can just come up, and this is like a bigger size, a middle, or whatever. So I'm gonna do this one, and I'm gonna change my font to, Go to Lalura and let's just do Faith. Even though this isn't really a great picture for Faith, I'm just trying to show. And let me change since you can't see that to black. Now, I want to keep the same thing and the same size. So I'm going to come up to here and just hit copy and move it up to here. And I'm actually going to change this back to white so you can see it. Faith. And I'm going to hit copy again, scroll down, move that up to here. And I could say, well, just to keep it with F, I'm going to say family, or I could say love, but he's basically someday family, so please do. 
Um, boom. And I might want to put it in here so you can see it. Let's just leave it there, right? Family. Now, also, if you wanted to make this more translucent, like I didn't want it to be as white, I could come to this transparency. There's my little dialog. Transparency. And then, so see how it fades if you want it not as bright? Or I could leave it as bright to stand out. So that's one option if I wanted to make a cover photo or whatever. What do I mean by going to Google? So let's just use ones that I've already uploaded from Google. So I'm just going to delete, delete. And I'm gonna just show you a couple different layouts. Trash, delete, delete. Background, I'm going to change to a light color. Okay. So let's say these are pictures that I went to Google and I just, um, you know, saved it to my computer. So if I was doing a fall post or fall healthy food. So say you're making a post about that, which you wouldn't use this Facebook cover layout. I'm going to show you a couple layouts that I use, but since we're here, let me just do it really quick. So let's say I just wanted to give a list of um, top four healthy fall foods. So apples, sweet potatoes. Let's just say um, if I had um, squash and grapes are actually pretty good this time of year. So whatever. And you can arrange them however you want. Whatever. Then um, so let's just use one of these pre made tabs that I like here. So again, I could crop this more to get rid of some of that white. So if I change this to for um, healthy fall foods. Now I don't really want this cursive because it's hard to read, so I could change it to that font, which is Monsera. Same thing with this one. Change it now. I want them to match. So that was. This one. I don't want this, so I just hit backspace, not delete. And if you wanted to put your website, so I could do, since mine is JackieEnis.com because I have a blog, then that would go there. You would just put your Facebook website. Don't put your Beachbody website on your post. It's such a long website, and then it comes across super salesy. So unless you have an outside blog um, site to use, just put your Facebook ID on there. Or if you're on Instagram, you can put whatever your Instagram handle is. Same thing for Twitter. So let's just move these over here. Make it smaller. Bam. And obviously, I would need a fourth picture um, for now to make it. All right. So that's how you would do it. And then um, you come to download, and then you hit image. And it's going to save it to your computer, and then you can upload it to your Facebook and Twitter. You cannot upload to Instagram from your computer. So if there's an image that I want to use on both, I just send it um, to my computer, and I upload it on Facebook. And then I take a screenshot with my camera, with my phone, and then I make sure that the cropping is right, and then I upload it on my phone to Instagram. Or what I highly recommend all of you do is download the Dropbox app. Um, I don't know if you can see my screen. So I don't want to get out of here. But there's, it's called Dropbox. And you can store a lot of your in pictures and videos on that. 
So there's one for your computer and for your phone and they sync together. Um, so that's how I save a lot of mine. So I don't keep using all the memory in my phone storage because I know I go through them fast with my um, fitness videos. So that's a really great option to do. All right, so I'm actually not going to save this one. I'm trying to get out of it. Okay, so let's say again, um, that picture that I just made about four things, I would do that as a Facebook post. I like this size. So again, you just click on the Facebook post. You have the same options um, for the background as we did before for the free options or whatever. These are options you can use that are free or the ones that don't say free, you pay for. Now, during each season, when it's like Halloween or Christmas or Thanksgiving or Easter or whatever, you'll notice a lot of them that are geared towards that. So maybe if you um, were starting a, uh, you know, a, an October trick or treat, um, you know, challenge or something like that, you could use one of these layouts um, as long if you wanted to, especially the free ones. But other times you could easily just pick this plain, say I like this teal background and I don't want any of this stuff. So I'm just going to delete it and delete it. And same thing with these lines. Excuse me, I have the hiccups today. All right, I'm just gonna click that, click that. So, all right, so I kind of like this background and um, maybe I want to, maybe it's a challenge group invite. So, um, again, I highly recommend you do not name your challenge groups the name of a Beachbody program because then it really sounds it might put off a lot of people because it sounds really salesy. Like if you do, um, you know, an Insanity Max 30, the only time I ever, ever call a group by the name of a program is when it's the very first time a new program comes out and I say it's my test group. Like you're the first people ever to do this workout. So I did that with size. A few of you guys were on my size challenge group um, back in the summer because size just came out at Summit. Um, otherwise, like right now I'm doing one for 21 and 21 day fix that starts November 1st, but I call it 21 day till shred, um, or 21 days till shred or 21 day shred. Um, so it's 21 days. They could use a 21 day fix original program or the extreme. And it gets even more excited because they're like, Oh, it's just 21 days, but it's not 21 days fix because they've seen the program. Not everybody has heard of it, but a lot of people have seen it and they're like, Oh, that's that program. But when you get them excited about, oh, 21 days, I can do that for 21 days. And I don't even tell them it's a beach body program. I find out what their needs are. Like you guys know in my other trainings, I find out what their wants are. And I say, this is how this program helps you. You tell me that you don't have a lot of time. It's 30 minute workouts. You tell me that you don't know how to eat right and you need help with your nutrition. It is portion controlled with some flexibility. You're getting dialed in nutrition. You're getting my daily dose of nutrition every day. That's Shakeology. That means you have one less meal to prepare every day. You have your shake. Um, and, and I talk about what do they need. So if it's somebody that's newer to working out, they haven't worked out in years, I'm not going to give them the extreme. I'm going to give them the original one because I want them to see success from the beginning and have a place to go. If they haven't, uh, if they've been working out or they've been strength training and whatnot, then I might start them with the extreme, even if they have to start off with the modifier then they can challenge themselves more. All right, so that's how I would do that. So let's say I'm creating this group and I'm just gonna call it 21 Day Shred. And then I wanna put myself in it. People are gonna relate to you. So I've already got these pictures up here. This is actually from 21 Day Fix Extreme when I did it my first time. Um, these are my after photos. So I'm just gonna come up. Again, I like filters, make yourselves look a little bit better. Plus, I just take these on my phone. It's not always the greatest. So I click on festive and change the brightness a little bit. Boom. Shrink it down to size to fit. And then you can add more in here too. So I could add bullet points. So if I'm going to add bullet points, I'm going to do a little asterisk. 21 days, um, 30-minute workouts. 
30 minute workout, uh, focused nutrition, can't spell, online support, and whatever else. You know, you don't want to give a thousand in details information, and I'm pretty sure there's a way to center it. So if I want them all left so they're all even, then that's how you can do that. Then again, you always put your name somewhere in here. So I would say JackieEnis.com. You could use your Facebook.com, whatever your name is. So that this is your picture. So no one's not taking your image and then using it for their challenge group um, or something else. So I would put that here. And then I'm going to always put the day that it starts. So um, I'm starting November 1st. So let's, you can find the numbers too. Some of them are free. So I'm going to go with this one. And um, let's just say text starts November. So let's just say starts November 1st. So my deadline, uh, I might put a few asterisks. Deadline October um, 23rd. Because I want them to buy it this month so that I get my success club points and I need them to have their kit in time for our group to officially start. Um, so you could add something like that and you could add a quote like, um, Let's just say we wanted another image. So if I upload an image, I don't know if I have any other quotes that are saved. It's not gonna let me go back through. So let's just say I go to upload image. Okay. So here's a bunch of images I have saved in a workout folder, and I post a lot of these pictures to my challenge group. So if you've been in my groups, you've seen these before, but I want them to be feel motivated. So it begins with a single step. That one is a good one, or probably a good one. I could type this in myself too, but why not? Just use it for the sake of using it. So this purple one is probably gonna go best with this colorage. I could use the gray but I want it to stand out a little more. So I think I'm gonna go with this deep purple one. And go a little brighter. So this makes them a little more excited too. So every journey begins with a single step, but you'll never finish if you don't start, right? So you're never gonna get your, your weight loss goals or your anything if you don't join my challenge. If you don't start, you need a place to start. Um, so this is how I would make a post, right? And then in my actual post is where I might give a few more details and tell them to message or message me or comment below if you would want more information. And then again, if people start to ask how much is it on my page, and I'll say, I'll shoot you a message. I still don't answer them about how much does it cost. I want to find out what are your needs. And that's why I have that WooFoo form created, W-U-F-O-O.com. We've talked about that in previous um training calls and I just created a free form on there that people fill it out with information. I want to know their name. I need to have all their contact, their name, their email, their Facebook address in case we are not friends. Um, am I their coach? No. Do they have a Beachbody account? Do they have a Beachbody a co coach? Um, would they like me to be their coach? Have they tried Shakeology? Have they done, and I named three or four workouts from Beachbody. Uh, what is your typical um, fitness level like? What does a typical day look like for you? Why do you want to join this challenge? How will it benefit you? Or what is your ultimate goal? That way I have some information when I come back to contact them about, okay, this is what you told me you needed help with. This is how this challenge group and this program that I have for you is going to help you. So that's what I do. And I can send it to them afterwards. Um, so all that private messaging is done privately. It's not done on your actual Facebook page. But anyway, so again, you, you just click download. And um, I'm going to change this. So I don't want to save it yet, but I might actually use this one for a different thing.
So if I come back here, see if it'll let me do that. Let's create, here's the one when I make your new coach welcome or a rank advancement and I want the picture to be longer, I click on the more and then I use this one, Facebook app. And actually, um, so that's what I've done here. I'm gonna see if it'll show you some of the ones that I've already created. Um, if I do that, okay. Let's see your design. So if you can, I'll show you some of the past ones that are saved. So sometimes I can just go back and change a date if I want to use it again for a different challenge group later on. That is weird. Usually it brings up all of my previous designs. Those are mine. Canva.com. Here we go. Okay. So um, let's see, I just made this one here for Jenny because she's so close, so close to hitting um, success starter for three months in a row in her business. Here's one that I made for, um, this is again, just a regular Facebook post, um, position yourself for victory. And then in my actual post, I'm giving some kind of inspiration, motivation, towards people. I'm giving them content, right? I'm giving them something of value, but that was a picture that I used. It's myself doing somewhat challenging move, right? It's challenging for some. Um, this one I talk about, you know, just my own journey and here's to the crazy ones and to coming out and to um, being a late bloomer in life. And I share my story because I'm sure I'm trying to connect with other people. So there has to be other people who aren't all extroverts and who haven't just, life hasn't just been awesome for them and they've exceeded at everything from day one. Maybe there's people, a lot of people like me who I have always been a very late bloomer. Um, here's one I made for, um, this is for Melissa's upcoming challenge group. I helped her make this one exactly how I did that. I uploaded a picture of her. I just go to her Facebook page, save as. I uploaded a fall picture of face from Google because, um, it's the fall and she's running a group. 21 days. Again, 21 days to her fit of you. That's the name of her challenge group. Um, obviously, her says starts the 22nd, 6th. She could do that or she could just wait till my November 1st and we can co run it together. Um, here's a, an, a post I made about why not you, my next three day coach training group. This one wasn't the best. The white, the writing and the darkness, I should have made this background lighter, but you live and learn. This is just a team recognition photo um, for the month of, I think, September. Um, here's another one I just did. Um, people who exercise are more productive. And then in my actual post, I list why the study was done and what is it found. This is when I welcome new coach Melissa. I just uploaded a couple pictures of her in a background, and I used those text boxes there. I was advertising a class here. Uh, this is just, I was sharing a recipe and I put it on my blog and then there's a setting um, under blogs for a blog heading. So I just put this picture into a blog heading for my blog. Um, this is another picture about lifting women, women lifting each other up. And I share about, these are all pictures from being in this business of us celebrating each other and we are support each other as coaches and friends and blah, 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 blah. Again, this is another coach. Uh, recognition for Kristen and Julie. This is a picture I made a regular post on my fitness page about, I don't work out because I hate my body. I work out because I love my body. Um, I do it because I care about my body. Um, and then in my actual post, I list, I list why it gives me energy. It makes me feel good. It keeps me youthful. It keeps everything functioning. Um, you know, all these different reasons why I love to exercise. So I don't do it because I hate myself, I do it because it's good for me. Um, so these are just different ways. This is a transformation post I made for Susie. And again, I just went to her page, images she had sent me from our challenge group from the beginning to the end. Um, and now she's moved on to other workouts, right? So it's just a simple challenge picture, befores and afters. People really love before and afters. These are just regular posts I put on my Facebook. Again, it's you versus you. Um, positive self posts. You know, if I want people to get into interact, list one thing you love about yourself because everybody is so nasty to each ourselves, right? We talk bad to ourselves. So I wanted to give them some inspiration that day 
Think of one good thing you like about yourself. What word was is that that describes you and put it below? Um, you know, sometimes you got to fall before you fly. This is just me halfway up into a handstand. Uh, this was when my grandmother passed. I just made a post about that. And um, this was when Wendy started. This is for my current fall fitness challenge group. I just found a background on um, Google, although be careful with finding things on Google. And then I just added content and I added my, you know, where my, my handle, my Facebook and stuff. Um, again, these are just regular posts I'm putting on Facebook. So the only difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. Um, set fall seven times, get up eight. And then in my actual post, I'll explain stuff. Okay, so here just are different layouts. So the long layouts, the square layouts. Um, you know, when I, if I'm posting our videos, some of the times I put some of our team calls on my YouTube channel. So I'll just make a clip art for that so when it shows up on YouTube. All right, let's see. This was, I was just, when teachers all went back to school, since I'm a fellow teacher, I still want to connect with all these contacts that I have that are teachers because I still want to share that. That's what we have in common, even though I'm not currently still teaching in a school. All right, again, recognition, class. This is a new coach training. Um, benefits of, I made a, a post one day about the benefits of coconut oil. Um, this was just a regular quote. I still want to connect. Oh, this one is a different word. I wonder one if that was a different one. Again, I was teaching in class when I go home. Um, when I'm stressed, I work out. When I'm happy, I work out. When I'm sad, I work out. Go work out. This was welcoming Susie. This is, I made the cover photo for my fitness page. Um, and so these things just go on and on. I wanted to make a post about me and my boyfriend and the support and love. And I found a quote that goes with that. Um, this is one I always love. And I know Sana loves this quote too. Uh, you are stronger than you seem, braver than you believe, and smarter than you think you are. And then I put my Facebook address on it. All right. And then these are just clips that I was doing for a training call and so forth. So you have all these different layouts that you can use. I'll tell you the ones I use the most. Once in a while, I pick the social media one and pretty much stick to the Facebook post and the Facebook app. But you are free to play around with it and to do that. So, okay. Um, I hope that this is helpful. I'm going to put this in our team page. And then seriously, if you have comments or questions, just comment below this video. I'd be more than happy to help you out. I know that PicMonkey is another really cool website. Um, I also didn't show you guys on here, um, but there's lots of little stickers that you can use. Um, some You have to scroll sometimes to find the free ones, but they're usually a dollar each if you don't use a free one. But like I use the number to show you for my start group, for my challenge group. Um, there's lots of different things that you can use um, to add to spruce up your your posts and your pictures. So I hope this helps you as you start to welcome new coaches to your team, as you start to make your own content for your um, your Facebook pages and or your fitness pages, but you definitely got to keep posting on your regular page and keep them going. Um, and so I hope that this helps you. I haven't quite figured out PicMonkey. I find it much more frustrating. This one is pretty simple, drag and drop. I can do that. Um, so you don't need to be a huge graphic artist to make pretty cool looking images that attract and are going to stop people when they're news, when they're Facebook news, uh, scrolling their newsfeed, your pictures are going to help jump out at them and it's going to stop and they're going, Oh, what's that about? Let me click and see more and read the rest of your posts. So that's what you want. Engaging posts, but you need to be adding value. So it just can't be buy from me, join my challenge. It has to be motivating. Don't just post a picture and no actual post. Give them something to focus about. Give them some kind of ad. What does that mean to you? What does that quote mean to you? How has that inspired you in your journey in life and juggling things and in fitness and in pushing through the tough times? All of that. So don't just find awesome quotes and then post them. I want you to use pictures of yourself. Take that same quote right over your picture with the quote, but then why that? Why are you sharing it? So in your actual post, the wording that you're writing, share why that quote spoke to you and why hopefully it speaks to somebody else. So anyway, if you have any more questions or you want to know more about um, anyone who's seeing this on YouTube or whatever and you want to know more about 
uh, coaching, uh, please comment below. I'd love to uh, reach out to you or go find me on JackieEnis.com. And I hope, team, that this really helps you guys going forward in your pictures. All right. Have a great rest of your day.